Hello friends, welcome to today's video. Yes, Pokemon Home has finally been announced as updated and maintenance is currently ongoing. 2.0.0 is kind of undergoing. We got this tweet out yesterday as of recording this video, which is May the 18th. Yes, it came out of the blue. We didn't think we we're gonna get Pokemon Home as soon, but they kind of announced yesterday that Pokemon Home will undergo planned maintenance starting the 17th of May at 5 p.m. PTD. Please note that the Pokemon Home will not be accessible during this maintenance period. For more details, please refer to the mobile device version of Pokemon Home, which when you go onto it, it just says planned maintenance at the moment. So we haven't really got any details, but then Cerebi did put out a tweet uh, earlier on today. I don't think it was that much. Yeah, this morning. So it was a little while ago. Uh, the Pokemon Home maintenance is over and access is now rolling out to players in a staggered manner to prevent server crashes. Our coverage is now beginning with the details being added. So Cerebi are updating all of their details. Information has come about to uh, say that the maintenance has kind of finished but it's going to be staggered across the world to not make the uh, the the servers crash so that's kind of interesting if we hop into our game now we'll see if we can get an update so yes you can see so updating your pokemon home you want to just come into your switch come to your pokemon home app and you'll get this download is available so you want to just start the download and uh, it will probably take a little bit of time so we'll put to when it finishes okay as you can see it is coming to an end now and the software should be updated it didn't really take very long to update and then you're going to just have the update and software for those of you that aren't aware of pokemon home and the updates we've been covering kind of the news as it's been dropping about pokemon home kind of updating so it accommodates pokemon legends Arceus, bdsp pokemon Pokemon Sword and Shield, Pokemon Go, everything all into one place. So this is what these are about. We covered a lot of the details with the kind of features that I'll have in our last video. So if you want to check that out, you can check out the link up there. It goes over everything uh, that was posted previously by Pokemon in their, their previous tweets. So you can see it doesn't take very long. And then once you've got it, and come into Pokemon Home. It's gonna be interesting to see how it all works and how everything can be switched over from different games and things like that. So for just a moment, I'm gonna just take off my cam. Um, so no, we've got current maintenance is going on right now. So we're not able to access it right now. So we'll come back to this as soon as we can get in and the maintenance is okay for us over here in the UK. Okay, now I can actually go in and show you. The, the rollout has finally hit the UK or it did a little while ago. So I can go into Pokemon Home and show you everything that the update kind of included. If you go into the mobile version of the app, you'll be able to see the kind of the um, the update notes and see what's been added, which we've covered in all of our previous kind of update videos about Pokemon Home 2.0.0. If you want to check those out, you can go back and check all the details out. Everything's kind of marrying up to this update right now. Um, and you can see on screen here, you can go over the, the update notes if you've got your own copy of the mobile game. Now we're going to go into Pokemon Home now. If you haven't got access to it yet, if you just get when this screen maintenance is ongoing, then just wait a little while. Be patient. Unfortunately, it is getting rolled out up to the 19th of May we're recording this on the 18th so we've literally in the UK just had access to this so we'll be able to go into it now you might have a little bit longer to wait hopefully not but if you do then that is the reason but by the 19th you should have full access to it it's just to make sure that the servers don't overload everyone jumping on at the same time you can imagine it's going to do that now the first thing you can see is you've got the pokedexes have been updated if you go in here you've got the kanto region johto hoenn Sinnoh, and nova kalos alola gala hasui region has now been added and unknown origins unknown origins so far the only two registered pokemon that i've got are meltan and melmetal we know that these two pokemon aren't tied down to any specific region so whether that'll happen in future or not who knows but they're the only ones that we've got registered in the unknown origins uh slot so the Sui region obviously have been in and had a go around with Pokemon home so far but you can see the Pokemon that we've got so far there is only seven Pokemon that you have to register in this 
uh, Hisui region. So you've got the, the Weirdia, Cleaver, Ursulana, the Basque Legion, Sneasla, Overquill, and then we've got Enamorous. So if I trade these other three in, that'll complete the Hisui decks up to this point. Obviously, you've got all the other decks as well that you can do. Other thing to note, if you hit the R shoulder button you can go into research tasks um, and then you can have a look at the research tasks and this kind of ties in with the mobile version as well so if we go into the the the, the sino one what you can do is see the first partner pokemon uh, task here so this is you get access to these three pokemon by trading any pokemon if you look on the mobile uh, device I'll put up on the screen now you trade any Pokemon from BDSP into Pokemon home you will unlock this task and then you'll be able to go into the mobile mystery gift section on your phone and you'll be able to get these Pokemon and they'll appear in your Pokemon home the next one is the Hisui region tasks this is the second mystery gift for three and um, starter Pokemon it's again the same sort of thing all you need to do is trade one Pokemon from Pokemon Legends Arceus into Pokemon Home and this will unlock this task. Again, you can only unlock the mystery gifts from your mobile app. It'll be on the screen showing you how to do it. Uh, once you've done it, you can then come into Pokemon Home and you'll be able to see these Pokemon in your boxes. You may want to nickname them before they come in because they are in um, I, I guess in Japanese is their names, but they all come with their respected hidden abilities, max IVs as well. These are the first partner Pokemon for trading the BDSP, and then you get these for Legends Arceus. Now, you can then trade Pokemon over into the other respected games. So we'll just come out of this. The first game that we'll hop into is gonna be Pokemon Legends Arceus. So there are a few changes as we went over in the, uh, the update notes. If you trade a Pokemon over from Legends Arceus into Pokemon Home, their stats and things will change depending on the game that you're going to trade them and transfer them into. So uh, as you can see, we've got a bunch of Hisui Pokemon in here in our game already um, that, that we've caught throughout our playthrough. We can pull them in to Pokemon Home now, which is really nice. So you've got the Cleaver, Hisui and Arcanine. You've got the Ursulana and so on and so on. These Pokemon aren't going to be able to be traded into BDSP or into Pokemon Sword and Shield. They're not coded into those games, but Pokemon like Shinx should be able to. You're going to be able to pull those in to both Sword and Shield and BDSP. So if you have a shiny in there that you want to carry over, then you'll be able to do that. Um, same with a bunch of other Pokemon that appear in both games. Cresselia being another one. Um, and if you've got the shinies in BDSP, like I've moved over into uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, you can now get the shinies in Pokemon Legends Arceus, whereas before they were shiny locked. So you can see you can pull over a bunch of different Pokemon from these games and uh, you can move Pokemon that appear in Pokemon Legends Arceus that you've got in your Pokemon home across to them. Uh, obviously there are a few miss the miners in this um if you're going to trade a pokemon from pokemon sword and shield uh here we've got gigantamax eevee gigantamax meowth and gigantamax pikachu for some reason you cannot trade these pokemon into your pokemon legends arceus because of that gigantamax symbol that they do have so you're not going to be able to do that you can see that the eevee there has got a strange ball on it but you're not going to be able to move it across because of that gigantamax symbol that it does have um, but with other Pokemon, like this is a event Pokemon from 2013, Shiny Dialga that you can't get in Pokemon Legends Arceus, I can trade that across. Same with the Giratina and same with the Palkia. So I'll be able to access all of these Pokemon in the game now. Whereas before I wouldn't have been able to have those shinies in the game. Same goes with the Cresselia that I got from Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl and the Darkrai that I can now put into Pokemon Legends Arceus. But as you can see, the other Pokemon that actually don't appear in the game, you won't be able to bring across. But this Eevee, it doesn't have the Gigantamax symbol. I can move it across into Pokemon Legends Arceus. Whereas this Eevee, I just cannot do it because it has got that Gigantamax symbol on it it isn't showing on here and i'll just move the camera to show you that the gigantic max symbol isn't on here but 
you know that this one, for some reason, will not trade across because of the Gigantamax symbol. Same with the Pikachu, Meowth just doesn't appear in the game anyway. So we've traded a bunch across to Pokemon Legends Arceus, so we can we can have a look at that. The, um, the other thing that I'm gonna do is pull a couple of Pokemon from Legends Arceus over into our Pokemon home to trade over to Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. Anamorous is a Pokemon that we'll be able to pull over, won't be able to go into any game, but this Umbreon is of interest to me. If you can see its stat points here on Pokemon Legends Arceus, you can see they're all maxed out. Now I wanted to test whether or not this has any kind of factors if we trade it into Pokemon Sword or BDSP um, to see if that kind of correlates with IVs, max IVs like Hyper Trained or anything like that. So we'll test it out. The Riolu here from Pokemon Legends Arceus hasn't got maxed out stats, so we'll be able to use these two as kind of comparisons when we trade them into either Sword and Shield and BDSP. So you can see there they've got their kind of their originating balls, uh, but then if you go into other Pokemon that you can trade across, two Pokemon Legends Arceus in your Pokemon home, they're gonna have the strange ball. As you can see there, this Pikachu has a strange ball, um, but but everything else will have the strange ball, but you're not gonna be able to trade those over. The Rotom you will be able to. So we'll jump now into Pokemon Legends Arceus. You do get this message coming up that the PPs, the move sets, and things will change if you do move these Pokemon from Pokemon home into another game. But if you take them back, they will revert into their kind of regular where they were at. Okay, so now we're in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're gonna be able to go up to our pastures and we should be able to get the Pokemon out that we've deposited from Pokemon Home. And as you can see, we've got the Cresselia. If we go into the summary as well of Cresselia, we should be able to see where it's come from. Uh, it seems to have traveled across space and time itself to join me from the Sinnoh region. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, and then if we have a look at the Dialga as well, because this is an event Dialga, so we'll have a look at that. Uh, it seems to have traveled all the way across space and time itself and joined me from the Unova region uh, where it met its original partner and a faithful encounter. So it does have an update for where these Pokemon come from. They do vary slightly, uh, but we can now pull them in to our party and we can actually have access to these shinies that we just wouldn't have access to before because the Pokemon, uh, the legendaries in particular in this game are all shiny locked so we won't be, we just not able to get them. So with Pokemon Home, you're now gonna be able to get them and it's gonna make completing Pokedexes a lot easier. There's a Cresselia, there's a Darkrai, and the strange ball animation is really nice actually. It's quite subtle, kind of like blue sparks, um, but you can see that we've got all of the legendary Pokemon here. And we've just got put Park here, here. And then Giratina. Let's chuck him in the back. If we can. Can we get him in the back? There we go. And we got the gang. So there you go, yeah, I mean, you've got all the shiny Pokemon in here. You can also bring in things like Shaman, Shiny, uh, Manaphy, and a bunch of others that you wouldn't be able to get shiny anywhere else. So it's a pretty nice feature to be able to do this in Pokemon Legends Arceus now, as well as kind of bringing in some of the other Pokemon that we, you know, we didn't have access to before, like things like the Eevee here uh, that you can see. Um, which is, again, the one that we've transferred over. It is in a strange ball, you can see that. And if we go to the summary screen, you can tell it, um, it joined me from Pokemon Home, uh, where it met its original trainer. So uh, I can't remember how I got that one, but it might have been a gift Pokemon that I received. Uh, but you can see there that they all have the, the, the strange ball on them. Now all the Pokemon uh, but the rest of them will all stay kind of the same. So now if we go back into Pokemon Home and we can go into our copy of BDSP now, uh, which we'll have access to. So we can um, pull some Pokemon from Pokemon Legends Arceus that we've put into Home onto BDSP and we'll be able to see what they look like in game. So uh, we'll hop in and we'll go to Brilliant Diamond and this should take us to our boxes here. And let's see what we can pull in again. The Gigantamax, Eevee, Meowth, and Pikachu, we're not going to be able to pull those in, unfortunately. Any Pokemon that aren't in this game, we can't pull in, but we can pull in the Squirtle and Bulbasaur there. Uh, and you can see the event Pokemon that we've just had, the Mystery Gift Pokemon, we can pull those in. 
The Shinx we can pull in though, we can take the Shinx in and we can take the Riolu and the Umbrian. Um, and just to show you the kind of test that I wanted to do, we'll pull in the, the Umbrian and we'll pull in the Riolu as well. Just remember that they were maxed out and the, the, the Riolu wasn't. Both in strange balls now as you can see, so we'll save our game. And then we'll be able to jump into BDSP and take a look at these Pokemon. Okay, so now we'll be able to just go into our boxes and we should be able to have a look at where these Pokemon are located. There we go. Here is the Umbrian, and I'm just gonna take my camera away here. You can see that there's no correlation between the IVs and maxing out the stats in Pokemon Legends Arceus. You're still gonna have to hyper train this Umbreon if we want max stats in it. Um, so it doesn't affect either of them. The shiny obviously stays, but they are in their respected strange balls now. And they do have the, the Legends Arceus kind of mark on them as well. So that's kind of cool. And if you go to the summary page, see it seems to have traveled all the way across space and time itself to join me from the Sinner region of all. So that's what the description is for both of these, um, but no other differences, no way of correlating the stat increases that you get maximum from um, Pokemon Legends Arceus and then bringing them across to these games, which is a little bit of a shame. I think that might have been a nice way to uh, make training up perfect Pokemon a little bit easier, but uh, unfortunately that is not the case. But you can bring these Pokemon into these games now and uh, you can do the same with Pokemon Sword and Shield as well. And finally, we'll go into Sword and Shield, and I will just show you uh, that those Pokemon, the Pikachu, the Eevee, and the Meowth, all the Gigantamax versions, you're gonna be able to see those when we go across to them now in Pokemon Home. You can see they've all got their Gigantamax mark, and then you're gonna be able to bring all of the Pokemon that are obtainable in Sword and Shield from these games into them. You can see, obviously, if we do bring the Shinx, it's going to be in a regular Pokeball lot. It's not going to be in a Strange Ball. The same goes for the Rowlet. So anything that you transfer over to Sword and Shield will have just a regular Pokeball. It will not have any sort of Strange Ball or anything like that. It's not coded in to Sword and Shield, unfortunately. And then Pokemon that we couldn't get before still aren't going to be accessible in Sword and Shield. So you're not going to be able to bring those over into this game, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's just one of those things. Uh, shame about the strange balls but what you can do is I'll show you now uh, we'll pull the Shinx in just as an example into Pokemon Sword and Shield we'll save this and then you can see there's the message we get every time so we'll save and exit and then we'll go into Sword and Shield I'll show you the Shinx and I'm going to move it back to Pokemon Legends Arceus and we'll be able to get its original Pokeball back and then see that everything is not lost, including things like Alpha Pokemon, the Alpha Mark. If you move it into Pokemon Sword and Shield or BDSP, the Alpha Mark will disappear. But if you put it back into Pokemon Legends Arceus, you are going to obtain that Alpha Mark again. So it is stored in the Pokemon's data. It isn't lost. It's just removed when you move it into a game where it is not identified. So as you can see, we are in Pokemon Sword and Shield right now. There we go. There's a Shinx. And you can see here it is. So there's a Shinx in Pokemon Sword and Shield. This is what a Pokemon looks like when you bring it across from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Interestingly, though, it does have the Sword and Shield mark. It has a Pokeball as well. Um, from what I can tell, this Pokemon was level 3 at the time. It seems it was first met on the uh, 15th of the 2nd from a far away place. So that's the description there. It's not very, uh, it doesn't give a very good description, of course. Um, the stats aren't maxed out though. As you can see, there is no correlation with the stats and the training or anything like that. So um, it is going to be just kind of your kind of standard kind of Pokemon. So. If we go back into Pokemon Home, trade it back and then back into Pokemon Legends Arceus, it should get that Pokeball back that it had originally. It should get the ball that we caught it with originally when we shiny hunted it for the first time and have all of its kind of traits that it had from Pokemon Legends Arceus, even though it looks like they've been wiped when it's been moved into Pokemon Sword and Shield. The same can be said for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. Um, if we do move them back into their respected game. 
all the original features will be kind of retained. So we'll grab the shinks that's here and we'll pull it back into this game here. We'll save, we'll come out. And then what we'll do is once this is saved, we will put a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus into our console. It's so faffy doing this with cartridges. It'd be much better if you've got them all downloaded onto your system. Uh, it'd be way easier, uh, but having the cartridges does make it a little bit faffy. So if we go back into Legends Arceus now, this will be the final thing, friends. I'm just doing a few tests here just to make sure that you're aware of how the Pokemon work. We go back over to our Shinx. You can see it's back in its original ball and it will have all of the metrics that it had before. You can see those kind of over the, the circle kind of uh, stat points that are overwriting. It's it's stats if you were put to put it in any other game seems to have been first met in the history region 15th of february so that's when we first encountered it um so i can put that back into our pastures here and it will come back into our, our game as well as everything else so that is that friends so you're not going to lose anything out if you do move a pokemon or think that you've moved a pokemon like an alpha pokemon into another game and think why is the alpha mark not there just move it back into your pokemon legends office and it will appear um and it goes with the the pokeballs and things like that as well so that wraps up everything i think with the new 2.2 zero dash zero update of pokemon home so i hope this video helped you get your head around some of the updates how to access the mystery gifts get those pokemon uh, in your games now remember you have to use the mobile application to be able to access those just trade one pokemon from either bdsp and pokemon legends Arceus, and you'll unlock those six mystery gifts that you'll be able to access in your um in your pokemon home and then trade them over to whatever games you want and then you're going to be able to change your pokemon wherever you want from bdsp pokemon sword uh pokemon legends rc so the only precursors are going to be the gigantic max pokemon like the eevee and the pikachu that are transferable between each of the games like all of them they appear in each one of them but the gigantic max eevee and pikachu from sword and shield are not tradable to any of the other games so just bear that in mind it's i don't know if that'll be fixed in future or not but it's nice to be able to trade pokemon from legends arceus and get them into bdsp and have those strange balls and from bdsp into pokemon legends arceus and get those strange balls i really like the strange balls i think they look really nice so it's a nice aesthetic to kind of add into those games as well as get shinies in the games that you won't be able to able to get before so have fun with it friends i hope if you are waiting for the update still it doesn't take long to come around uh, if you've got any questions drop them in the comments below i'll try and answer them as best as possible i'm going to be playing around and trialing things as much as i can on pokemon home for the next few days so if i do come up with anything else or if there's any more news we will drop it as soon as i can if you've enjoyed the video please drop a like on the video it does really help it out and also if you enjoy this sort of content updates and things like that do hit that subscribe button we cover a lot of stuff like this on the channel so i think i'll leave it there have a great rest of your day take care of yourselves more importantly than anything else friends thank you for tuning in and i'll see you all for another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye